GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we are here today doing the Alpha 10 series on the arid planet. What's its name? What is it again? Guatem. <laughs> and we still haven't had a base attack. It keeps saying less than a day, and then a day passes, and it's still less than a day, and another day passes and it continues to say less than a day so it's I don't know <laughs> so right now <clears throat> it's still saying less than a day with 51% so it's confirmed we're gonna get attacked in less than a day but it doesn't seem to happen. So I've given up, and we're just going to go to the moon. I've gotten this thing all ready. In fact, I did upgrade a bunch of, as you can see, I painted it and textured it. Um, so it's pretty much ready to go. I got the, the little mini miner parked to it. And I've got it all full of fuel, oxygen, and everything's ready to go. Oh, you know what we should do? Let's just put our... EVA back on. I took it off to defend the base for an imminent attack that just never freaking came. So let's put it back on. And then we will take off. So we'll try and get out of here. Hopefully we can. Okay. Let's lift off a bit, try backing off, lift off a little bit. I might have to like alt zoom out. No, is that not working? Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, can't go up anymore. So let's go down all the way. We've got that much to play with. That's it. Okay, so up a little bit, smidge, then we go back. I've already, I made it out of here once with a turret on this thing so it's I know it's possible here we'll hit O go down a little bit go down a little bit and, whoop, no 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 wrong way come on and oh can we do it can we do it are we out I think we're out yay we escape okay let me zoom back in level off okay so Uh, how uh, uh, looks pretty good right there. Okay. So yay, we're flying. We're flying. So there's the base from an aerial view. The uh, the bunker. The armored bunker. Kind of cool. Could use some uh, decoration or something, right? Some texturing, I think. We'll look at, into that maybe later, but for now, let's go to the moon. Get up out of the atmosphere here into orbit. And there we are into orbit. Okay. And we have a blue, solid blue marking saying going to the tree. The reason I I have that marking is because I took the quest from the Polaris quest the the here I'll show you oops that's not my PDA this is my PDA the Polaris story chapter one totally overpowered and it makes us go to the trading station which is fantastic I've already I'm, at least I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm friendly with them, so I can trade with them. I made sure I was friendly with them. I, I was positive about it. Okay, let's let's see what we've got to trade. We've got a couple of mediums. We've got some boosts. We've got a little bit of money. So not much. Uh, yeah, not much. We've got a bunch of ammo, but that's going to be used. So... Oh, I forgot to bring food. That's okay. We've got emergency rations with us. Now, I could probably buy food there, right? <laughs> buy some pizzas? Sounds like a plan. 
So we'll, oh, let's get out of the atmosphere here. Okay. Oh, by the way, I put a mini gun back on this thing. Reason being is because the small constructor can't build the cannon ammo. So I had to put the mini gun turret back on because it can, it, the, the small constructor can make, oh, what's that? What is that? Is that moving? No. got I guess it's two bases it looks like two bases maybe facing off from each other what is what though I don't want to get too close I don't want to get too close and get shot at that thing has That has a bunch of guns on it by the look of it. There, how, oh, I know how to zoom. If we go into our turret, there's my turret, there we go. We'll go into the minigun turret, and then we can zoom in and get a good look at it. Okay, so it's got a gun up there, a gun. Definitely got a gun up there, right there. <laughs> Shoot at it. Okay. Um, wow, wackadoo vision. There we go. Let's not go play with him. This thing is not made for combat. It can defend itself against drones, and that's about it. Here we are coming up on the trading station. So approach station. Okay, I'm assuming we're gonna get within like 100, and 100 meters. Yep. Okay, find the bar. So we gotta to go to the bar. Nice, let's do that. Uh, this is good enough. We've got, we've got the EVA on, right? Just double checking. Okay, so we can go float out there. Uh, and this thing does have Wi-Fi in it, so should be close enough. Yep, yep. The center is 60-something. Yeah, we should be, we should be able to reach the Wi-Fi if we need to. So let's just jump out. Uh, here, we'll straighten out. And I can turn the thrusters off, I guess, right? Turn the engines off. Save us a little bit of power. And, oh yeah, I can make this my home spawn because it actually has a <laughs> uh, a medical chamber in it. So... Let's jump out and grab our stuff, actually. Here, let's just grab it anyway, just in case that we're having some problems with the Wi-Fi. We should be able to carry it all anyway. Okay. Okay, let's go do some wheeling and dealing and find the bar. Put my jetpack on. There we go. <clears throat> This way, this way, we go this way, up through here, and then I'm going to turn my jetpack off because it's just easier to navigate in space if there's gravity, <laughs> I find. Okay, going up. There we go. We are in the trading station. You know what? I'm going to swap out for like a paint gun just in case I accidentally go, oh, zap, whoops. Hey, yeah, it won't do it here, eh? I can't. It won't let me do it. If I... What if I... No, it doesn't do it. What about here? No. It doesn't even make the attempt to do it. That's interesting. That's cool. 
So we got to go oh, find manager yilk. Manager yilk. Manager yilk. Did I get an indicator from him? No. Okay. Well. Huh? Let's check the conference room. Oh, this guy, this guy might buy some of our boosts. He won't. Ah, poop. <laughs> he sells heavy armor. This is the guy I can buy heavy armor from. Okay. Let's go back into my third person, and I'm just going to unequip. Okay. No, that guy's not the manager. That guy's not the manager. So I don't have any money. Oh, there's an ATM. Let's use the ATM. Okay. Um, at least I can buy some burgers or something, right? Some pizzas. Maybe. Wasn't much money. There's a t top manager up there. He's up top. Because he's the top manager. Uh, this guy will sell the medium armor. Ooh, for 34 grand a piece. So we'll sell that. And he won't buy the other one because now he's maxed out. Is it? But he will buy these. We've got three of those at 5,800 a piece. And he'll do the oxygen also for 63 a piece. And the radiation for 51. All right, there we go. Pretty much a full pull on that. 70,000 credits. We can come back and sell to him later. We can buy refined pentaxid here. Um, so that's always good. So let's go. Now this isn't going to work because it's not active. Because this is a randomly generated scenario. And they haven't figured out a way to make that work yet, I guess. Uh, I could buy my sprouts from him that I don't need anymore because my garden is like chocolate block full and awesome so this guy is the top manager welcome I am the top manager Yilk how may I serve you okay so I'm not going to read out this whole thing you guys can pause and read this whole thing if you want and basically he wants t us to deliver um something to a brewery located on a lava planet in this very sector. Okay, travel there, pick up a few bottles of our new anniversary best-selling root beer from our brewmaster and bring them back. Simple as that. Okay. <laughs> so I guess we're a pickup service. Pickup courier service at your disposal. Fine. What does he got to actually sell? Uh, Multi-boost? Ooh, that's not bad. 8,300. He's got one of them. He's got beer. Nice. I think this guy's identical. Yeah. Wow, much more expensive multi-boost, though. 5205 for the sell price and 5286. So this guy not only does he give you a better deal buying it from you, but he also sells it for a cheaper deal. So he's So beware that even though the same exact same merchant, they might be different pricing. I did not know that. What about you? Uh oh, that scared the crap out of me. What was that noise? <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to sell you my medium armor, and that puts me over 100,000 credits. That is awesome. And what is he? 70, 77. Let's do that. Let's do that. That'll give us a third multi-boost. Uh, I think that's all we want. Okay, so 
now we got to go to a lava planet well i don't even have a warp capable ship so i guess we're not continuing with this anytime soon or are we hmm maybe we need to get ourselves a warp capable ship but let's see what um can i get free oxygen from here yep <laughs> it's a display model but you know i'll take its oxygen anyway uh, what I want to do is buy some meds. We should, you know what? We should probably buy the heavy armor. Have a f Although we're going to get epic armor, but not for a bit. Ugh. You know what? You know what? Let's just, let's, let's just get the meds for now. And... I might want to buy a bunch of refined pentaxid, actually. Buy all the heals he'll sell me. Excellent. Okay, there we go. Now we've got a decent supply of healing. And, well, that wasn't so bad. We upgraded our... Um, I should put the armor on. Although it won't matter because I'm going to go to the moon anyway. We're going to, we're definitely going to get that, that epic armor as soon as possible. So I think this is our focus now, getting that armor. So let's, I can't remember which, it doesn't matter. Let's just go down. Hey buddy, don't mind me. I'm just uh, passing by. Nothing to see here. And, it's not that door. Is it that one? No, I can't remember. Well, sure. This one works. <laughs> okay, so where are you? They are there. Now, if you notice, these cargo boxes, if I open one, I would go to unfriendly right away and get killed. So I don't want that to happen. I'm not going to open that. Let's just head. Okay, so we've got to try and find a, a warp drive. Well, okay. That is on the things to do. Let's head to the... Oh, turn our engines on. Let's head to the moon and get the stuff that we want. So I'm going to head to the moon and I will meet you there. Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we're here today doing the Alpha 10 series, and we're just about to be attacked. I just got the notification. I just landed at the bit, literally just landed, haven't like unloaded even. Um, so we got to go take care of a defense base attack. Okay, come on, come on, come on. We got to run there. Let's get up there. Oh crap, here they come. I don't know what it is. Don't know what it is. Is it? Oh, it looks like multiples. Okay. And the defense is shooting. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, looks like it's... Come on. What's going on here? Oh! It's dudes! Holy crap! Land in my face or what? The other one's landing right there. He, he dropped off, guys? I think he did. Wow, I can almost lose. Oh, it killed the other one, too. Okay, we got to go check to see if dudes came. We're going to go check to see if dudes came. 
before they kill us. All right, let's grab that really quick. Why not? <laughs> okay. Can't see. You know what? Let's drone it up. And, oh, it did drop off one guy. It got one guy dropped off before he was killed. Huh. Okay. Well, that's fine. Come on. Can I not? It's not letting me... There it goes. Did I get it? Yep. Well, let's loot this guy then. I wasn't much of a help. I never got up there in time. Um, hmm. Wow, that was freaky. That's like... <laughs> Can't get much closer than that. Wow, they were like going to land like right on the bunker and drop the guys like literally touching the bunker. That would have been harsh. Uh, but my defenses took care of it, so I think we're okay for now. Let's take a look at the statistics on that, and it, we don't know when the next attack is. It's imminent, though, obviously, with that percentage, so that was fun. Well, I'm going to go down back downstairs, and we'll take a look at the loot that we got. What did we get on us from the... What did we loot? Are we connected to a box? We're not even connected to a box. So, laser rifle, some food, a little bit of meds. Two laser rifles. Huh, nice. Okay. It's okay, we don't need multiple laser rifles, but that's okay. And I've got to think about oxygenating this shaft, I think. <laughs> end up suffocating by the time yeah I might have to do that yeah vent will fit right in there nice and we should probably think about let's take a look really quick while we're here as we're passing by need some more flak shells huh? projectile rounds 30 mil bullets are doing okay Okay. They're doing the bulk of the work, probably, those, the uh, 30 mil cannons. And my garden needs picking. Okay, so let's unload. I'm going to show you the, the loot that we got. And I think what we're going to be doing is we're going to be deconstructing. And <laughs> we're going to be using that baby. So it's still all in the the uh, little mini micro CV, and I've still got the SV that I looted from space <laughs> that I stole. Um, and what we're going to do is we'll completely multi multi tool that down. So I just wanted to show you the loot for now. I can get back in here. It's got Wi-Fi, so. Small, so this is the cargo the cargo controller. It would barely fly with the 1.13 kilotons, but it was still flying. So, oh crap! What just happened? My base just got taken over. <gasps> Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? I can't open my doors. <laughs> How? What? But all the dudes got... Oh! <laughs> I'm stuck! At least there's oxygen in here. Uh, so I gotta, like... Where did I even put the core? Oh, no. This is tragic! <laughs> Shit! Okay. Well, I guess we're <laughs> blowing this door open. Ugh. 
Okay, here's the core right here. <laughs> right. I, okay, thank God. Um, wow, so that means there's a Xerox out there somewhere. Son of a... Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, you know, they're... I, okay. <laughs> we failed! We failed! So, that's it for this series. <laughs> um, new series coming up in figuring out how to prevent that from happening. So, I think uh, we obviously have the base in the wrong location. Because, wow. <laughs> okay, so let's... <laughs> Damn it. I want to find this peckerhead now. And all my plants are going to die. Oh, no, actually, uh, yeah, they will die here. You know what? This is it, though. We, we lost, right? I lost the base, so... Start a new series. The next series coming up is actually... Uh, I'm crafting a new scenario um loosely based on on how i did the uh, generic brand scenario um but each starting planet is going to have their own supporting planets instead of instead of the starting planets uh, let's keep the panic room i should have actually just popped a new core in you know what i can't though because how am I going to get out of here? How, where, where? Whoa! Oh, damn! <laughs> My own sentry guns killed me! <laughs> Epic! Epic! Oh! <laughs> well, that was, that was fun. That was fun. So, um... <laughs> Lesson learned. That was a crappy location for a base. So next series, we're going to try something different, and it's going to be with my own custom scenario. Uh, it's still going to be very generic how the startings are. So the arid and temperate start is going to be identical to the to the uh, um, default. Uh, I'm going to have a custom, three other custom start planets, though. Alien, snow, and swamp. So that'll be interesting. I think we'll, I'll, I'll get that scenario created and finished and then uh, probably test out the alien landing. Well, guys, until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.